17. You're looking at quite Drop to 918 millivolts. That's important. It's also sped up slightly to 16 miles an hour forward progress, and that's moving west or west. Now, the system we watched in the Gulf for the last few days is now Cadillac. 40 mile per hour sustained winds. It is still moving east, southeast at two knots or two miles an hour. The one that stays out over the water like this. Jose is up to 60 miles an hour. Tropical storm. It is moving west at 13 miles an hour. Central pressure. We're right there somewhere right in there. Now, this is the morning radar. This is about at Atlantic View. You can see it sweeping from every to visible as the sun comes up over the uh, United States and over the Atlantic. Very powerful eye wall on Irma. Check that out as it goes and start. So far, it's just off of the windward yet in the area where the tall mountains can affect a storm this size, but it, it's about to get there. We're going to have to watch. You ready? All of these areas. Are you ready for that storm? Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba. Don't forget that, the Bahamas, and then into the Keys of South Florida. Tremendous amount of moisture being pumped up out of the Gulf of Mexico. Are you ready? By Captain. <laughs> the infrared images. As the sun has come back over, <laughs> it's also over the Gulf of Mexico, you can see that those cloud tops are getting stronger again. You're about to see some rotation. It looks like oh on both goodness. sides of the storms, you see those two halves. And this moisture again is going to be pumped straight in the to the Gulf of Mexico across Goodness. this area, anywhere from South Mississippi into the lower parts of the Florida Panhandle. <laughs> what you got? Did you break it? No? Get it! <laughs> You ready? Massive category five hurricane this morning. <laughs> that was a terrible catch. Oh no! Where's the squeak? Where's the squeak? Making its way towards Puerto Rico and then into the Turks and Caicos. You ready for this? Okay, you ready? Catch. Severe weather day from the northeast into the southeast. Uh, as much as 10 to 15 degrees. <laughs> you got it? Do you got it? Okay, you got to catch the ball, you ready? Get back up, back up, back up. Oh no, you didn't, you broke it. Tonka. Okay, back up. Okay, you ready? Catch. Yeah! Okay, you ready? Here we go again. Ah, got it. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oh, good catch. Okay, back up, back up. Back. Back. Okay, this is, nope, not back up. Yay, you caught it. Good job. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Yay. Good job! Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you caught it or not. Did you catch it and drop it? Back up. Okay, there you go. Stay right there. You ready? Very close call and a lot of serious impacts in the northern part of Puerto Then taking aim on the Turks and Caicos and Bahamas and eventually into the southeast part of the U.S. Say, hey guys, we are preparing for the hurricane. We're playing. Rico. We're playing, huh? Yeah, you caught it, and I missed it.
it. Good job, Tonka. Okay, come here. Let's see. Let's try again. Let me see it. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, here. Ready? Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Yay! Good job! Okay, you ready? Atmospheric and uh, remember we have the cones for good reason because the average track here at five days. What is that is storm doing? Cone, huh? Is about two hundred and twenty-five miles. So that's thus right. the width. And is it coming of the cone. to get us? Right, and actually the four huh? the four day error is about one hundred and seventy miles. That's still very large. So the four the four day position is very close to Miami now. It could be one hundred and seventy miles to the right. It could be one hundred and seventy miles to the left. Everybody is still at risk. So I hope everybody just. Marcus says we're watching it. Well, we're, we're tracking that storm. It's, it's all it's all dependent on what happens upstream in the uh, continental United States. So we're States. tracking that right. storm. Also, it also depends on very small changes in how the hurricane moves right now. So it's moving past Puerto Rico right now. If it stays closer to Puerto Rico, it will probably what are you end up doing? closer to Miami. If it travels farther north, oh, you knock my D down from Miami. So very small changes in what it's doing now will turn into large changes later on. Okay, Dr. Dave Nolan, as always, we uh, appreciate your expertise out here uh, just off Key Biscayne. Keeping an eye on the uh, situation. We live. Let me let me show you guys where we live. Hold on a second. At five days. Okay, we live right up here in the middle of Florida. So thus, so, the width and breadth of the kind of right there. Right, and actually, the four the four day error is about 170 miles. That's still very short. Sort of. It's Lake County, so, the so it's four, the four day position up there is very close to Miami now. It could be 170 miles. So we should miles be good. Right, it could be 170 miles. To huh. Still See, we got this. Tonka says, I got to protect well, that vocal. Go it's play in the rain. It's all, it's all you got to play in the rain? Are you going to play in the rain? It also, it also depends on very small changes in how the hurricane moves <laughs> hey. right now. So it's moving hey. past Puerto what are you Rico doing? right now. Where are you going? It stays closer to What's Puerto up? Rico. What's up, Tonka? Closer to Miami. Tonka! Are you ready for the storm? Are you ready for the hurricane? Say, come on, hurricane number, we got you. Yeah. Say, we got food and water. And we're going to get a generator tomorrow. Yay! Schools are closed for the rest of the week after today. We'll have more on the track. What are you doing? Stop! Next. You ready for the storm of the century? The UPS store.